Now, the Nicene Council melded all of the pagan religions of the time into a new unified Catholic religion. That's what the word means, unified. It wasn't until the council convened that the name or title Jesus Christ was decided upon. You know, Acharya S. goes on to state, quote, as stated, it is maintained that during the Nicene Council, the names Jesus and Christ were put together for the first time in the phrase Jesus Christ or Christ Jesus, uniting two of the major factions with Jesus representing the Jesus of the Druids, Joshua slash Jesus of the Israelites, Horus slash Ayusa of the Egyptians, and IES slash IASOS of the Dionysians, Samarithricans, and Christ representing the Krishna slash Christos of India, the anointed of the Jews, and cursed KRST of Egypt, among others. It is thus alleged that the phrase Jesus Christ, which had never been a name, does not appear in Greek or Latin authors prior to the First Council of Nicaea. So in other words, what Atreus is stating is that there was simply never a historical person by the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I personally don't doubt that there were Gnostic teachers that um, existed in that area of the world at the time. But certainly, if there was such a teacher who was a healer, who held great wisdom and spoke in parables and all these things attributed to Christ, his name certainly was not Jesus Christ. Jesus and Christ is more of a title. These both names were meshed together and they're both amalgamations of several different um, mythological gods that came before. 